So on the right side of the menu bar on your Mac you've got a set of menus that are usually represented instead of by text by little icons. Thus they're called menu bar icons or sometimes menu bar buttons. And these special menus persist no matter which app you're using. They're always there and they do special functions. Like for instance the volume one here allows you to change the volume and also choose uh, different devices for output like speakers or headphones etc. So these two different things. But how do you decide what goes there and how can you arrange them? So for the most part these are all connected either to an app, some sort of system extension, or something in System Preferences. And you can make them appear or go away depending upon which type of thing they are. For instance the volume control here. That's part of System Preferences. And you can get to it by going either to Sound Preferences right there in the menu or you could go System Preferences and then to Sound. Either way it will take you to the same place. So here in System Preferences Sound you'll see at the bottom Show Volume in Menu Bar. If I deselect that you can see it goes away. So in the case of the volume control this is how you make this appear and disappear. And this is true for anything else related to something in System Preferences. For instance in System Preferences if we look at Keyboard and we take a look at input sources we could see that there is Show Input Menu in Menu Bar which is this right here. So I can get rid of that there. So for those it's connected depending upon which part of System Preferences uh, is accessed by that menu item. Now if this comes from a special app like say here is the one for Jump Cut which allows you to save multiple clipboard items then you can usually get rid of it by either quitting that app. It's kind of running in the background. Uh, or you can go to Preferences and sometimes there's the ability uh, to change uh, what appears there. So in this case in Appearance you can change which icon appears. Sometimes you can make it go away but sometimes the only, make it, the only way to make it go away is to actually quit that app. So I'll quit Jump Cut here and you can see it disappears because the entire purpose of that app is to put that mini bar icon up there. So that makes sense. A lot of these others work the same way because they've been added by different apps and extensions. Now you can rearrange these by holding the Command key on your keyboard and dragging them left to right. And you can put them in any order you want. And you can go and do that for anything except the last one which brings up the notifications. That always has to be on the Right. But everything else including Siri here, Spotlight, uh, this is fast user switching to switch between users, this is the date. All that stuff. Everything could be rearranged as you'd like it to appear in which order you like. Now usually it's just a matter of preference. But sometimes it's important because if you're dealing with a crowded menu bar like maybe you're running say Microsoft Word has a huge menu bar with lots of commands across here and a smaller screen basically you're going to sacrifice the leftmost icons here they'll go away in order to make room for those menu items. So if there's something you need to access when you're running Microsoft Word you may want to actually move that more to the right than something that you rarely would access if you're using Word. And you can also use this technique to get rid of some of them. So for instance here's the accessibility preferences and I can go uh, to accessibility preferences in there uh, and turn it off with a checkbox. But I could also command drag down and out and you could see uh, it changes to an X with the cursor there. And if I release it goes away with a little swoosh sound. <laughs>